What's up my peeps? Time for some more WWE Supercard. So it is time for the PCC. The PCC between Kevin Owens and Ryback started about three minutes ago, something like that. And it's it is 3.04 a.m. right now, so it's, so it's pretty damn late. After recording this, I think I'm gonna go to sleep and then I'm gonna go ahead and edit the video and post it up for you guys. So let's go ahead and start this and I hope I I hope Kevin Owens is winning this. Let's see what's happening, but I have a feeling that maybe Ryback is currently winning this. We'll see. You guys know if you saw the last video that I'm seeing Kevin Owens. That's what I'm going to go for, so let's go ahead. And, uh, yeah, people's champ. Come on, KO. KO all the way. Is he winning? Okay, okay, I can't see right now. It just says zero wins for both of them. Is, is this even working, or are we going to get some network errors right now? Let's, let's see, let's see. So... I haven't played the PCC in a while, so I don't know if I can go ahead and play a 5 plus match. I don't know if in Season 2, 3MB works or not in the PCC. I'm assuming it doesn't, but I will try it out. Um, let's just try it out like this for a 5 plus match right off the bat. Uh, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, we're gonna, you know, change up the deck and maybe go with 3MB or just try things out. Because like I said, haven't played it in a while, so I don't know what works and what doesn't right now. Okay, so we're facing off against this guy, Peel. What's he gonna be first? Singles match? No, it's a, well, it's a singles match, but a Divas match. Power speed. We're gonna go with Nikki, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use a boost here. We'll see if that makes the difference. Our, oh, she used she used the damn boost too, or he used the boost. Okay, so he gets. Ah, oh, come on. Why does it have to be another Divas match? All right, I already know I lost this one. I mean. Yeah, I've got a normal rare Brie Bella. He's got a rare pro Eva. Not Eva, I mean Eve. Okay, so Soul Match P Charisma. Saffrollins. I mean, at least I won this one, but, you know, overall, I lost the match. So, we're not off to a good start here. But, we're going to redeem ourselves. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and switch out my Divas cards. So, let me just hold on a second here. Okay, so since my Brie... Oh, damn, so Ryback's winning right now, and by almost double the points. Told you guys, I had a feeling Ryback would take this for the simple fact that he's the face, or it could be just because he beats Kevin Owens in three of the stats. So, let's go ahead here and switch out Brie Bella for an even weaker Divas card, if I do have a weaker Divas card. Uh, okay, looks like I don't have a weaker Divas card to use right now so i can't do that okay so what i'll do is i'll switch rick rude because i'm not using him anyways i use the rock instead because he's a stronger card so i'm gonna switch him out for the weakest card that i've got here alex rally and i think i'll let's just try it out like this until we get a uh, a weak divas card i'm gonna go once again for the five plus matches I don't really want to go for the 1+, plus. definitely not the 1+, plus. maybe the 3+, th plus matches if I find it really hard to win the 5+, plus matches, but I'm trying my hardest, or trying. I'm going to try a bunch of things so that I can, I can just go for the 5+, plus matches. Okay, so it's power and speed, we're going to go with Triple H on this one, power and speed, not going to go with a boost though, alright, so we did not need the boost anyway, so we got this one. Divas match, power, hated when it's a Divas match. Gonna go with Nikki Bella. Um, gonna use a boost though. Hopefully it's a good decision. Okay, we get this one, I think. Yeah, we get this one. Good, we won the match. Doesn't matter who we go with here. We win this one too anyways. So, 3-0. to zero. So, that little change right there might have made the difference. We'll see if this, you know, this setup right now works for the following match. Or if this was just luck. Uh, hopefully it's not luck. Okay, so rank 279 right now. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and buy any title matches right off the bat. Like I would maybe for a... No, I don't want to sh share this on Facebook. Like, really, who shares stuff like this on Facebook? Like, it's cool or something like that. It's not cool. Alright, let let's go ahead and face off against WWE Figs. And, um... Yeah, like I was saying, I'm not going to go ahead and buy title matches right now. I might buy them a bit later. Right now, I just want to get a feel of, you know how many points I can get, you know, how fast I can get them and all of that, and uh, where I can realistic, realistically rank and all of that. So, okay, so toughness, speed, we're going to go with a boost here, and we're going to go with Nikki. Okay, so we didn't need the boost here, but we do get the win, good. 
Now, please don't... Okay, it's not a Divas match. That, I was going to say, please don't give me another Divas match. Right here... I'm going to go with... with um, hmm. I don't want to... Who should I go with here? I'm going to go with Triple H. And do I get this one? I don't think I do because of that boost he got. Oh, it's a draw. Okay. And then it's a toughness match. We're going to go with Seth Rollins on this one. And we're going to get this. So that's good. And we won the, the match once again. So, so far so good. But it might be too early to tell. It's, it's, it's only the second match we won here. Uh, third match overall. Alright, so... We're still in the 200s, I believe, when it comes to the rank. I quickly, you know, clicked away, so they didn't get a chance to see it properly. So, Kevin Owens is catching up a little bit, but Ryback is also getting further, you know, with more and more points. Um, you know, if the previous PCCs are any indication, Ryback's probably going to win this. But, whatever. I'm Team Kevin Owens, man. <laughs> okay, so solo match, speed... Gonna go with Seth Rollins, because he's my best speed card that I've got. Looks like I didn't need to go with Seth Rollins. Well, actually, no, I did. Um, I could have went with Seth Rollins or Triple H, but... Okay, Divas match. So, and it has to be a Divas tag team match. So I'm not gonna go with a boost on this one. Um, They're gonna get this one. Because my Brie Bella card is really, you know, uh, holding back my deck here. And, uh, damn, it has to be a tag team match. Okay, so... Right here, I should have went ahead. I should have kept Seth Rollins. I'm gonna use a boost because I've got nothing to lose here. Um, okay, so I think we get this one. Yeah, we get this one. So we get it. Um, what, what I was trying to say before is I should have used Triple H for that singles match and kept Seth Rollins for that tag team match. But at the end of the day, it all worked out and we still got the win. So that's good. Let me see if I got a uncommon or common Divas card right now. If I do, I'm going to go ahead and replace Brie Bella with that card. Um, just to lower my tier a bit. Or not not necessarily the tier, but the bar. So I face off against, you know, weaker opponents. Uh, let's face off against Anthony. So, so far, 5 plus matches all the way. That's good. Uh, did not want to go ahead and play some 3 plus matches. And definitely did not want to go ahead and play some 1 plus, one plus matches. If I had to do that, then I probably wouldn't, wouldn't play the PCC. I'd be like, sorry guys, but I'm not playing this. Alright, Tag Team Charisma. Um, we're going to go with The Rock and Seth Rollins on this one because it only makes sense. Oh, damn, he's got a an epic Seth, uh, Randy card. But they don't get the boost, though. They don't get the boost. So we got this one, thankfully. Um, Dio's Match, Power Charisma. Okay, so I'm going to go with the boost. And it uh, looks like that was useless. Please don't be a Divas match. Okay, so it's not a Divas match. Good, we got this one too. And I'm really, I'm really hoping we get a common or uncommon Divas card right now, um, because this Brie Bella card, man, I'm just hoping for no Divas tag team matches, and I'm hoping we don't have more than one Divas match, because I know if we have more than one Divas match, where it's a tag team Divas match, we're gonna lose that one. Um, all right, waiting on network once again. Um, okay, we gotta pump it up. Support card, and we've got any good. We've got Eva Marie. Let's let's go ahead and replace Rebella right away right now. So let me swap this out. Um, I'm gonna try it out. Uh, if I feel we lose a bunch of matches with Eva Marie as my card, like we end up playing a lot of matches where I need to use both my Divas cards, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to Brie. But right now, I want to test out Eva Marie. Even though the whole Brie Bella setup was working for a bit. Just want to try this out, see if it's any better, and um, let's just see. So we're facing off a guy against a guy with a Brock. Hold on, let me let me say it right. Brock Lesnar picture, and I've got Seth Rollins. Two, four, four, six. So what's it gonna be? Please, no deals match. Okay, so tag team power, speed, Rock and Seth Rollins, and he's got Randy. And the rock. And they get a boost too. Oh, I think they get this. Yeah, they get this. That is bad news. That is bad news. <laughs> okay, so charisma. We're gonna go with Triple H, of course. Uh we got this one. I just hope that the last match is not a superstar match and it's not a Divas Tag Team match. Damn it, it's a superstar match. Okay, so we're gonna lose this one, but whatever. Alright, alright, alright. We lost this one. 
So right now I'm thinking, should I go ahead and replace um, Alex Riley or, or not? I'm not sure what to do here. So, oh, we've decreased, our rank has decreased though. Um, oh, hold on a sec, let me check the points here. Nah, right back, still winning. Okay, I'm, I don't know if I should switch out uh, Alex Riley right here. I mean, I just lost one match with the setup, maybe I should try it a bit more. But at the same time, that one loss kind of... Okay, let me just go back to Rick Wu right here. Seems like the like the bar remained the same. It didn't go up or anything. Well, hold on. It's waiting on network, so it might go... Okay, never mind. So let's face off against Death Eater. Uh, five plus points once again. Just hoping we don't get a DUS Tag Team match. All right. Let's see here. What's it, what it's gonna be? What is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a normal tag team match? No, it's a normal match. Power, Triple H, and we get this one. And then it is going to be solo match. Speed, perfect. Got Seth Rollins, and we're gonna get this one. Doesn't matter what the third match is, cause we won already. The US match. There we go. We win this one too. So okay, let's see what our rank is right now. Now. Hold on a second. People's Champions Challenge, and we're at rank 359. We were in the 200s, I guess. You know, people are cashing up, or more people are playing right now. Um, okay. Let's go, please. There we go. Okay. Uh, and we get a Naomi card. Let's face off against Lucas for another 5 plus points. Divas match, power, and speed, okay. Um, did not use a boost here. Maybe I should have because she got a boost or she got her ability or whatever um, I think if I would if I would oh damn he's gonna get this one too Yeah, he gets this one. So we lost the match already <laughs> and then another divas match. All right, so even if I did um, Use the boost in that first match still would, still would have still would have lost this match so all right, um Looking at the setup right now, or thinking about the setup, it seems like I'm better off. Um, I think I'd be better off maybe because we're using more superstar cards. I might be better off switching out the common Eva Marie here with, you know, Brie Bella or, you know, my Nikki card. I'm going to go with Brie and just switch out, you know, Rick Rude with a weaker card. Uh, I think that was the good setup that we had. You know, let's go back to Alex Rally. You know, it did, the setup did work, so why not go ahead and... Or should I actually... You know, let's go all the way and go with an even weaker card than Alex Rally. We're going to go with Murphy right here. And uh, let's see how we do. I think this should be a good setup. Because the setup we had with Alex Rally and the rest of the cards, you know, we won a couple matches with it. But then once we sh started switching things, that's when I started losing a bunch. So, let's see here. And this this should be better since I'm using a weaker card than Alex Rowley. Uh, solo match, Charisma, we're going to go with Triple H. And we're going to get this one good. Let's take out Shawn Michaels. And then, Toughness and Speed, we're going to go... Let me use a boost. We're going to go with Seth Rollins. Seth versus Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins going to take him out with a curb stomp or a body slam. Whatever that was, I guess he could uh, kind of look like a falcon arrow, so I guess that we're going to call it a falcon arrow. And, uh, yep, there we go. He gets that one, but we win the match, and that's all that counts. And waiting on that work, that also counts. Okay, so what are we going to get next? Damn, man, we're, we're like decreasing in rank. I'm in the thousands right now. More people are playing. And uh, I guess me losing a couple matches definitely, you know, uh, wasted some time and uh, did decrease our rank there. Okay, so racing off against this guy with the Sin Cara picture, Born to Run 316. Okay. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Tag Team Charisma. We're gonna go with The Rock and Seth Rollins. I hope The Rock doesn't hold back Seth Rollins too much. Although, okay, yeah, we're gonna lose this one, I think. Even though they don't get a boost, they still have a significant... Oh, okay, never mind. We, we have this one. I thought for sure they were gonna take this. 
Ah, oh, come on, tag team speed and charisma. Of course, I'm not gonna get this because I've got Murphy. Um, yeah, we're not gonna get this. Um, imagine if we get this. I didn't. Okay, now we don't get this. Toughness, toughness. We're gonna go with the boost and Mickey. Um, I think we get this one. Yeah, we do. Good. Yes. So we won the match. <laughs> All right. Happy about that. Now, let's see what our rank is. Come on. Give me something good, man. Uh, we're still in the thousands. Still in the thousands. And uh, this is without using any, any title matches, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and play another match against Sneaky Cactus. Like I said, these daily videos, you're basically... This is basically me just playing and playing and playing. Before, whenever, the, even though when there was an event, I just show you guys maybe towards the ending or towards the beginning of the event, but I never show you guys the entire thing or the middle or whatever. I'm not saying I'm not gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the entire thing, but I'm gonna show you a lot more than I used to. Uh, toughness and charisma. We're gonna go with Nikki Bella without any support cards, um, and we get this one. Yeah. Okay. Divas. All right, Divas match. Not gonna bother with a boost right here. We're facing off against another Nikki Bella card, but his is maxed out and pro as well. Um, I don't believe it's a perfect pro though, so he didn't do a good job proing that card. Tag team and charisma. Okay. So if I go with Seth Rollins and The Rock, we will get a boost, but Triple H has like this 200 um, point advantage when it comes to charisma over The Rock. Almost 200 point advantage. Uh, so even this, so despite not getting a boost, if I team up Triple H and Seth Rollins, I think that's the better move here. So we're going to go with these two. And hopefully, yeah, we're going to get it for sure. Uh, they get a boost, but that's still not enough to take out the authority Seth Rollins and Triple H. Now, we would not we would have gotten a boost if they hadn't changed Triple H's triangle in Season 2. I don't know why they did that. I mean, Triple H used to be a uh, blue triangle, and so... I could have teamed them up with Seth Rollins, and that's the reason why I proed, or not proed, but used the Fusion Chamber loyalty program to go ahead and make also a Triple H card in Season 2, because I thought I could go ahead and team him up with my Seth Rollins card, and then it turns out I can't. I uh, kind of wish they had posted up all the changes for all the cards before you went ahead and used the Fusion Chamber. So that way you know, hey, you're not going to be able to team up this guy with this guy. They're not going to get that boost that they used to have in Season 1. By the way, speaking of Season 1, are, are some of you guys still actually playing Season 1? I'm just curious about that. Um, like, I haven't played Season 1, I haven't gone back to Season 1 since Season 2 has started. Uh, okay, so the match, Power and Toughness. I don't see the reason why you would go back to Season 1. I mean, there's no events for Season 1, unless you just want to play some exhibition matches. But, like, what's the point if you can't advance anymore, you know? Um, so imagine, well, you can't advance if you if you weren't, you know, at the max tier, but it's kind of like you're playing on your own, because there's no events, and, like I said, well, whatever, so, so match, toughness, charisma, um, I'm not gonna go with a boost, I'm just gonna go with Tephons, just like this, and that is enough, we take out Triple H, there we go, and then we're gonna go with The Rock here, and we don't get this one, but, doesn't matter, because we still won the match. One, two, three, and another win under our belts. Now, moving on, what's our ranking right here? 700, okay. So, you know, see, it doesn't seem that difficult. The only thing that I, you know, never really liked about the PCC is you gotta keep your rank. Um, I mean, right now I'm playing and all of that, and I'm in the ranking to get the Kevin Owens card, but this is just the beginning. Not everybody started playing right now. I mean, like I said, it's freaking 3, 23 a.m. right now. I don't think a lot of people are playing at this point in time, so it's going to get harder uh, as time goes on. And also, it's just, you know, the fact that you've got to keep on playing to keep your rank because you're playing against all these people trying to keep your rank or else you're not going to get that card. That's the part that I don't like about the, about the PCC, is it requires so much of your time. Tag Team Power, and the, okay, uh, we're going to go with The Rock and Seth Rollins. Okay, let me get this one. Um, the only thing, though, is the last match. I'm worried about the last match right here. I'm hoping it's a singles match, a superstar singles match. Uh, had to be a Divas, ma Divas match. 
Yep, we lost this. I knew if it was going to be a Divas match, we were not going to get this one. Uh, he takes this one. Okay. Um, we're not going to win them all. Uh, but it's just like, I feel this deck, man, is really holding me back right now. Um, so I should maybe level up Brie Bella or maybe focus on maxing out my Nikki Bella card so I can pro that. And it looks like Ryback is still winning with 52k, you know, over 52k points. And Kevin Owens at around 28k. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and level up Brie Bella just a little bit. Uh, because I really feel like she's holding me back right now. But then again, that will boost up my bar. Well, whatever, let's just... Should we do it? I don't know. We're going to play some more matches, and then I'm going to decide if I should do it or not. Or maybe I'll just play until we reach the card limit, and that's when I'm going to go ahead and uh, train my cards. Because that's what I usually do. I just wait until we reach the limit, instead of after every single match taking some cards and leveling up your cards i used to do that in the beginning it was just so time consuming and i'm like yo like why am i going full to restart i should just wait until i've reached the limit and then level up my cards all right she takes this one with the page card um seeing her pro or seeing his pro page card take out my you know super rare card makes me want to go ahead and level up re and you know max her out or pro her i should say okay triple h that's a uh, that's an odd looking Ted DiBiase card. Um, toughness and speed. Let's go with the boost here and let's. Oh damn! Face off against John Cena. Why does it have to be an epic John Cena card? He takes this one too. Damn it! Ah, we lost once again. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm wondering if I should pro or oh go cool. We got a title match. I'm wondering if I should go ahead and level up my other Nikki Bella card and focus on maxing, like, proing my Nikki Bella card, or if I should go ahead and focus on Brie Bella right now. I'm thinking about going and, you know, maxing out my uh, Nikki Bella card, uh, but I'm not sure. Um, obviously, if I level up Brie and pro her first, my Divas is gonna, my, my, my Diva setup is gonna be more balanced, but, like, I feel like you know, going ahead and maxing out Nikki instead. I think that that's what I'm going to do. And I think I'm going to start that right now, actually. I'm not going to wait until the the limit is reached. So let's go with the comments first. And I will not forget about the enhancements this time around. All right, level five. That didn't do, that didn't do too much. Uncommons. Yeah, I need way more cards. Should have waited until I reached the limit. Uh, I thought I had way more cards to use here. Uh, let's see if I have any rares maybe I could use. Um, let's see here. I mean, let's go to Roman Reigns and HBK. Yes. There we go. Level 7. And let's see the enhancements that I've got. I'm going to look for all the common ones and use these. And now she's at, let's go, waiting on network once again. She's at level 8. All right. Let's go ahead for the uncommon ones, and let's just go down all the way. Hold on just a second. Um, okay, toughness, 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 speed, speed. Uh, actually, let me keep some of the speed. Uh, power, power, let's just go with that. And she's at level nine right now. All right, so let me go ahead and switch out um, Nikki Bottle right here with my other Nikki Bella card, if the game lets me for some reason, it's taking some time right now. Is it gonna be another waiting on network error? Or is it not gonna be another? Okay, so I just went back and now we're... Okay, so for some reason, whenever I click swap, I can't see anything. But yeah, when I go back, I can go ahead and see the card and everything's fine. That's odd. So let me go back and try and swap the card once again. Once again, I'm getting the same problem right here, so... I guess you guys are witnessing some sort of glitch in the PCC. I don't know if it's only my device. Let's see if it works maybe with like another card. Let me go ahead and check out Triple H. Nope. Same thing. Can't switch out my cards for some reason. So I guess we're stuck with... Oh, hold on a second. Let me go ahead and try it out in normal exhibition. And hopefully it works there. Because if it doesn't, we might be screwed here. Mm, hold on. Swap. And none. Okay. So it works here. Um... 
for some reason didn't work in the PCC. Let's go back before people catch up to us. They probably already did. And let's face off against Fuad right here. God damn it, I'm okay. So for some reason it wasn't that wasn't it working either. I was clicking on it, clicking on his username, but it wasn't uh, working until you know a couple seconds ago. All right, so he's got an epic John Cena as his picture. That's not a good sign. Should have backed out and you know uh, searched for another opponent. But whatever, we're here now, so let's just do it. Um, solo match and speed. Please don't be the John Cena card. Okay, so good. We're not facing off against the John Cena card yet. What's it going to be next? Steva's power. Okay, so I'm going to go with the boost. And uh, yes, we got this one. Good. So we don't waste our 10 plus title match. And for the last Steva's match, doesn't matter because we win the match. Yes. Woo! That was a bad woo. <laughs> okay. By the way, Charlotte made a woo like I think it... I don't know if it was on this Raw or the, or the, or the previous Raw. Uh, the, oh, we're in the 500s right now. That's pretty damn cool. So the title matches, damn, they made a big difference. Uh, I think I'll be buying title matches in part two of this <laughs> this BCC. Um, okay, let's go ahead and play another match. Yeah, like I was saying, man, Charlotte's... Uh, was it Charlotte or was it Paige? Not all pa no, it wasn't Paige. Uh, it was Charlotte. She did a woo and it's pretty bad. Uh, I didn't expect a pretty bad woo out of her, you know, because <laughs> she's Flair's daughter, but it was pretty bad. I don't know if it was this week or the week prior, but it was one of the two. Okay, so solo match, power, and speed. We're going to go with Seth. No, nah, nah, we're not going to go with Seth Rollins. We're going to go with the boost or the support card. Ah, damn. He's got a, a pro maxed out Cesaro against my... Yeah, he takes this one. Uh, let's just hope the rest of his cards suck. Probably not, though. Uh, okay, so we take this one. Uh, but what worries me, once again, is the last match. If it's a superstar match, I I'm done for. All right, so it's a Divas match. I can go ahead and use my Nikki Bella card. All right, we got this one. Cool. We got the win. Perfect. I was kind of worried there, because if it was a superstar card, would have had to use my common uh, Murphy card. It's weird that they've got Murphy, but, you know, they, they, they still lack a Christian card in the game. I mean, they... Come on, man. I, Christian is a former world champion, former multiple-time tag team champion, former intercontinental champion, and yet he doesn't have a card in the game. What's up with that? He's one, he, he was a part of one of the best tag teams in the WWE, yet he doesn't have a card. Edge has a bunch of cards. Christian has none. Well, he does have, you know, some uncommons and all of that in Season 1. And I think he has some cards in Season 2. Not sure about that. But he still lacks some top cards. I mean, what's up with that, man? Uh, tag Team, Toughness, and Speed. Uh, hopefully we get this one. And we do. I think. Yeah, we do. Oh, do we? Hold on a second. Let me see. I don't know. Okay, we do. Divas match, Speed. Alright, let's go with Nikki and let's hope for the best. Um, I think we get this one. No, we don't. Okay. Soul match power and toughness. Um, oh, do we get this one? Yeah, we get this one. Okay. So, we won another match. So, so far, I think we've won more matches than we've lost. I think. Pretty, not nah, pretty, pretty positive about that. So, okay. So, we're in the 300s right now. We got a power enhancement and we got a an energy card. Kind of was kind of hoping we'd get some more title matches, but we've only got gotten one title match so far. Um, and like I said, I don't want to buy a title match this early on. Um, we'll buy them soon though, maybe tomorrow or maybe today, since it is in the AM right now. So this is the next day technically. So yeah, later today I might buy some title matches. And you guys would see that video tomorrow. So anyways, tag team, speed. We're going to go with The Rock. Seth Rollins, come on, give me this one. We're going to get this one. Screw The Rock and Dean Ambrose. That's not a good tag team. We take them out. Seth Rollins and The Rock. Um, no, actually, I think Dean Ambrose and The Rock would be a better tag team than Seth Rollins and The Rock. Uh, speed, okay, there we go, oh, should I use the boost? No, I don't think I, the boost is going to make that much of a difference, so, Triple H versus Triple H, look at that, my Triple H takes it though, 
And uh, he's got a... Okay. It's a good thing I won the previous matches because I wouldn't have won this Tag Team Divas match right here. He's got the exact same cards that I have. But his Brie Bella is leveled up more than mine. And his Nikki Bella is pro And I think it was maxed out too. So, yeah. Now... Give me something good. I mean, so far, I've only gotten really crappy cards out of, you know, my picks right here. Um, I haven't gotten a single good thing, really, since starting Season 2 when it comes to random pulls. I think. I mean, I've gotten Brie Bella, but she ain't she ain't even that good. So, let's face off. Did I, I think I already faced off against this guy. Was this guy the, the guy I just faced off against? NST Joker? I feel like I faced off against him in this same video. Like, he, I think he had the same picture and username and all that. It's, I don't know. Let's see. Well, I guess we'll find out through his cards or something. Um, let's see if, he, if I do... Okay, so he's got the Triple H card. I, I, like, I have a feeling this is the guy we just faced off against. So he's got the Triple H card. Let's see if we recognize any more cards. Um, no, not going to go with the boost. Let's go with Seth Rollins. Yeah, see, he's got the Dean Ambrose card that he teamed up with the Rock card previously. And the Diva Sack team match. Yep. I told you guys. I knew it. We face off against this guy just now, and we're facing off against him once again. So, all right. Uh, we beat him once again, so that's good. So, I think, yo, if I if I run into, guys, remind me of NST or NTS Joker. So, that way, I know, hey, I can beat NST Joker, so whenever I see him in the 5+, plus, go ahead and play that match. So, in the 300, once again, or still in the 300s. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and get into the 200s. Um... Hold on. Is it NST? Nope. It's Jack St. Clair. Uh, okay, let's face off against him. We're at 75 points right now. I think we're going to end this at 100 points. I think that's going to be you know, a good amount of points. And then I'm going to probably go, go to sleep or something like that. And then wake up, edit this, and post it up for you guys. Okay, what's it going to be? Speed match. Seth Rollins, of course, against John Cena. So... Seth Rollins and John Cena are facing off once again, I believe in a, yeah, in a U.S. title match inside a steel cage at Madison Square Garden. Who do you guys think is going to win that? Tag Team Speed, Triple H, and The Rock. Please give me this one. I think we do get it. Yeah, we're going to get this one for sure. Um, I feel like John Cena is going to win it. David Divas Tag Team. And by the way, I was right once again. If you guys check out my video... Kane versus the Kane versus uh, Seth Rollins uh, match card video. I said that Seth Rollins is probably not going to pull double duty at Hell in a Cell. He's probably going to get his rematch on Raw. He did get that get that rematch on Raw, and now he's having another rematch against John Cena, but but at Madison Square Garden. Uh, so it definitely looks like they're not going to have a match at Hell in a Cell. I doubt they'd have three matches this close together. Actually, four matches if you count the one. At uh, Night of Champions. What? Yo, how come my rank dropped so much? I was like in the 300s and now I'm in the... F okay. I guess a bunch of people will use some title matches. Um, Alright, we still get some crap. Big Show and Mark Henry. I mean, come on, give me... Could at least give me you know, super rare Big Show or Mark Henry or something like that. Let's face off against Empire. But as far as, far as who I think is going to win, I'm, I'm, I'm saying Seth Rollins... Uh, I mean, John Cena is probably going to win that match. Uh, I don't see him losing. Unless they want John Cena, which at this point I think they do. I think they want John Cena to break Ric Flair's records for both the United States Championship and the WWE Championship. Uh, because Ric Flair, and I didn't know this before, uh, but Ric Flair, I think they mentioned that Night of Champions, that he's a six-time United States Champion. John Cena right now is a five-time United States Champion. Uh, he's the guy with the most United States Championship reigns in the WWE. Ric Flair is the one with the most United States Championship reigns in, I guess, wrestling. Or, you know, WWE, WCW, whatever. Um, so I think they want John Cena to tie Ric Flair or even break his record. Just like for, you know, the World Championship. So... I think we're going to see John Cena lose that title once again to somebody and then maybe win it back uh, afterwards so that way he can tie Ric Flair when it comes to the U.S. title and then they could go ahead, go ahead and have John Cena tie Ric Flair also for the World Heavyweight Championship. I mean, whether you like John Cena or not, whether, whether 
you know you want it to happen or not it's it, it's gonna happen uh they're definitely gonna do it um john there's there's so many like john cena's not gonna retire anytime soon so between now and when the time he retires he's definitely gonna win at least one world championship so he is at the very least going to tie rick flair at the very very least he's most likely going to break his record that's gonna happen um so yeah it's just a matter of time all right austin safrons versus oh this is interesting the rock and safrons versus austin and safrons and Austin and Safranians do not go well as a tag team because Austin is a yellow triangle, so we get that. Solo match, power, speed. We're going to go to boost on this one uh, because I don't want... Well, we didn't need a boost, but just in case, wanted to use the boost because I didn't want it to go, you know, to another match. I mean, it's going to go to another match, but I didn't want to lose risk losing this match and then have this Steve-O's match, which I think... Are we going to lose this one? No, we're going to win this one, but whatever. So there we go. Three to zero. That was good. One, two, three. Clean win over Kama with the John Cena, with the epic John Cena picture. Alright, alright, alright. What's after the PCC? I can't remember. Is it was it the Ring Domination or the Road to Glory? I think it was the Ring Domination. Uh yeah, what sucks about this though is I might get Kevin Owens right here. But I probably won't get Kevin Owens out of the ring domination just because of the tier I'm in, unless we really work, really work hard on this and, and grind a lot, play a lot of exhibition matches in King of the Rings, you know, to move up in tiers uh, really quickly before uh, the next event comes. So we got a title match, which is, which is great. Let's face off against Lost Tello. Okay, hopefully we get this one. So I don't, I like, I don't like wasting title matches. So let's go. These I'm telling you, these loading screens, man, they've they've got to shorten these. Soul match, toughness, Triple H, of course, and we're gonna get this one against Kofi Kingston. A rather serious looking Kofi Kingston card. I mean, when does Kofi Kingston look that serious? He's always smiling, even as a heel. All right, tag team toughness and charisma. Um, I'm not gonna use a boost. Um. Damn, we're we gonna get this one? Yeah, no, I don't know if we're gonna get this one. Let's see. Uh, good, we got this one. For a second there, I thought maybe we wouldn't get it. All right, so even if we didn't get it, we would have been this Eva Marie card with our, the uh, Nikki Bella card. So one, two, three, another win for the Eagle. And come on, give me something. Give me a super error for once. Let's see. Tyson Kidd. And, oh, I, I just noticed the board just reset, so I must have gotten a rare or something <laughs> in the, ra the, the la after the last match, but I didn't even notice. Probably was a rare enhancement card, I don't know, I, I just, oh, we got 100 points. So I said I was going to edit at 100 points, but how about another match? Let's go ahead, face off against Pliss, Plissken. For a second there, I thought it said Pissken. Speaking of, can Street Fighter 5, or is it is it 5 or 6? I think it's 5, right? coming out on the ps it's yeah so, so they're coming out on the ps4 only with street fighter um hold on a second divos charisma sony scored a pretty good deal with that i mean they've got street fighter that that's exclusive to the ps4 and they've also got uh king of fighters which, which is also exclusive to the ps4 it seems like PS4, like Xbox, you know, people refer to the Xbox for the longest time and still refer to it as, like, the FPS console. Now it seems like Sony's, you know, getting the... It's becoming, like, the fighting console. If you like fighting games, then that's the console you probably want to get. Solo match power. We're going to go with Triple H. And the minus 15 to power. We got this one against Ric Flair. Woo! Oh, that was a better woo than last time. Okay. 16 times all right and let's see it's funny how tna the when, when i said 16 times right now i just realized or it reminded me of the dudley boys and their tag team title runs when they were in tna tna would always bring up the fact that the dudleys were like 22 time tag team champions or i think 23 times so they were you know acknowledging their tag team title reigns in like the wwe and all that <laughs> while in the wwe like they go from 23 uh, 23 title reigns in tna and then they go to wwe and now you know 
They're back to 10 title reigns. Like, the, the, the rest didn't happen. So, deep tag team match. Um, let's go with Nikki and Brie. Uh, and also, I saw the backstage fallout video. <laughs> it's, it's just funny. TNA, like, oftentimes goes ahead and acknowledges WWE uh, a lot, actually. You know, but WWE barely acknowledges, actually never acknowledges them. Uh, I do remember at one point when WWE had their, like, they redesigned the website when they first redesigned it. They had actually a, a, a section on the site where they, te they tell you news about every single, you know, wrestling or organization or, you know, company or whatever, whether it was an indie company and all that. And t they'd give you, like, TNA news and all of that, which was really weird. Um, but apart from that, they never mentioned TNA. And it's just funny how TNA always mentions WWE. Dudley Boys, they're in TNA. Hey, 23 time tag team champions, and then they go back to the WWE. They're 10 time tag team champions. And back to what I was saying about that backstage Fallout video. Um, basically, Michael Cole interviewed the Dudley Boys, and they were talking about where they were, you know, when they weren't in the WWE. And they were talking about how they were still working. They, they were like, hey, we're still working in our craft, and, you know, fighting in the tag team division and all of that, fighting other tag teams and all around the world. And then they mentioned all Japan. We were Devon was like, we went to all Japan, New Japan, and, and just all over the world. You know, didn't mention TNA at all. Uh, despite them, you know, spending most of the time in TNA, the time that they weren't in the WWE. Um, so yeah, just something I found interesting. Some you might not find it, find it interesting, or not, might not care, might you know, because you might not watch TNA. Um, Let's go with Ben 21. And I wonder what's going to happen with TNA, man, now that, that they've got the, the Destination America, Destination America contract, I think, is up at the end of the year, I believe. So, like, in December, like, after December, what's going to happen with TNA? Where are they going to go? They were supposed to, you know, the, the rumor was that they were going to ditch TNA in September, but looks like they're sticking with TNA a little while longer, giving them time to find another network. Crap, I think I lose this one against Austin. Yes, I do. Uh, let's go with Seth Rollins. Come on, what's going to be next, man? Please don't be a... Alright, Superstar match. Uh, let's see if we get this one. Nope. Roman Reigns takes it. Alright, alright. So... I'm not happy with that, of course. And like I said in the previous episodes, I don't end this on a loss. I can't end this on a loss. So we're going to play one more match, and we're going to win this next match. Now, we're in the 300 still, though, so it's still good. Fernando, Fernando, Fernando. Yo, what happened with the, the Lost Matadores? I Didn't they turn heel like last week or something like that? Or the week before that? And they attacked El Torito. And the commentators were like, they didn't give a fuck about it. They didn't even talk about it, really. The the, the Dudley boys saved El Torito. And since then, we haven't seen the Lost Mandadores. Like, it, it, it was, it's such a, like, I, I thought maybe we were going to see them the week afterwards as Primo and Epico, which I would prefer much more than the Lost Mandadores. Oh, by the way, no, my bad. Somebody in the comment section last time told me that... Because well, I, the, the, I oftentimes say the loss matadores. Apparently, loss pretty much means the. So I'm saying the the loss matadores. So yeah, I did read your comment. So yeah, let me, you know, fix what I was saying or correct myself. Loss matadores turn heel, and then all of a sudden we don't see them the week afterwards. It's like, oh yeah, whatever. Anyway, tag team powers are pretty fail, pretty you know, failed heel turn there. And let's see. Okay, I mean they were with El Torito for a while, and then they just ju they just attack him, and then they, f <laughs> it's just forgotten about. I guess that shows you know how much people cared about the Lost Matadors. Um, you know, Primo and Epico, you know, they're they're really talented, but as you know, uh, Lost Matadors, they're damn. We lost this one too. I wasn't even paying attention because I was talking to you guys about the you know Lost Matadors. And their failed heel turn. All right, so we lost this match, so we can't end uh, the video right here. I need to get, yeah, I need to focus right now. I was even paying attention on what I was doing. Um, hold on a second, waiting on network. This video is like 45 minutes long, or 40, 40 something minutes long. Uh, I think this is like the longest supercar video yet. It might be. 
pretty sure it is, yeah. So, let's, uh, facing off against Nate. I think I faced off against this guy before. He had the same picture, and I'm pretty sure I faced off against Nate. So match speed, Seth Rollins. We got this one against Andre. Alright, now, this Andre card was pretty weak. So that means he's got some pretty strong cards, you know, in his arsenal. Soul Match Charisma. Hopefully it's not this next card. Yes, we got this one. Told you guys. We were, gonna, we were gonna win this one, and we're gonna end it on a win. Let's use a boost here. And we got this one too. Cool. Against Thing. And The Rock goes for a top row splash. That's a, that's a uh, different move. We don't see The Rock pull that off. Alright, by the way, in the comment section last time, actually before last time, JJ, I think it was JJ, you told me in the comment section, hey, the new cards right now, or they post, they made an update where the cards do their finishers. When I saw your comment, I was like, what is he talking about? Like, you know, he, they do their finishers anyways. I was, you know, their special ability, like... I was thinking what JJ, what you were saying is that the cards go ahead and do their, you know, special ability like Triple H here as the Spine Buster, but they always did that. So I didn't really get your comment. I didn't, I didn't reply. I was like, uh, okay, but they usually do that anyways. But then, um, in this next video, or the, the, the recent one, uh, Quinson, I think, somebody in the comments said that they've updated the cards where they actually do their special ability so if they let's say they've got a super kick you'll see the card doing a super kick if they've got you know a splash you'll see them do a splash so the way jj the, the way you said your comments i didn't understand it at first i just thought you said hey they do their special abilities maybe like i thought maybe okay maybe they've increased um the uh the the percentage of times that the special ability is triggered or something like that i didn't really understand your comment at first uh, but now I get it. Uh, so it looks like you know, epic cards and legendary cards actually do their finishers. That's that's cool. I didn't I didn't see it. Like I didn't. Oh, why did I do? I thought it was a tag team match. Crap. Damn, I thought this was a tag team match. What have gone? The okay, cool. Speed. All right, we might still. Yeah, we say we got it. Saved myself there, but uh, I thought it was a tag team match. That's why I was gonna go with The Rock and Seth Rollins. I I didn't think it was a singles match. Uh, but yeah, we still got the win. So, okay, let's see what we get for our final cards right here. We get Rosa Mendez and a title match. Ah, oh, okay, so we got a title match. Should I use it right now or should I use it in the... You know what? I'm going to do something I haven't done before. Since I did say this is the longest Supercard video, which it is. At the, at the moment, it is the longest Supercard video I have, but something I've never done is make an hour-long video. So I think I'm gonna do just that. There's about there's a couple minutes left, like you know, 12 minutes or so. So how about we do that? I mean, besides, most people go ahead and tell me you pref you know that you prefer the longer videos. So we're gonna start off these daily uploads in a way that you guys will like a, a long-ass video. Shit, I mean, one hour. I don't, I don't usually do that. I never do that. I've never posted up a one-hour video. So how about we make this the first time ever right here? So much toughness and charisma. Let's go with Triple H. The game. We got this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, in uh, Divas Match, Power Toughness, go. Nikki Bella and the Power uh, Support Card. And we take this one. Cool, cool. Toughness, Seth Rollins. There we go, and we beat Roman Reigns as well. Three and zero. We're on our. We've got a streak right now, or not really. So, what's what, what are we getting that? What are we gonna get next? Probably some more crappy cards. We're gonna get Emma, and we're gonna get a toughness enhancement. So, like I said, some more crappy cards, and it looks like Bradback is going to win. Uh, yeah, it's always the faces winning, man. I mean, unless it's Brock Lesnar. If it's Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar wins. Um, unless it's Brock versus Taker. If it's Brock versus Taker, Taker wins. But if it's Brock versus, like, John Cena, Brock wins. Okay, what's it gonna be? Speed, Divas, we're gonna go with Nikki Bella. 
And uh, his Nikki Bell is going to take this one. Tag team match, Toughness Charisma, The Rock, Seth Rollins against Taker and Dolph Ziggler. That, that'd be a really, really odd tag team. Ziggler's personality would... Ah, they got this one, man. All right. Doesn't matter what we go with here. We lost this match. All right, you, you get the win. Uh, let's 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 uh, redeem ourselves in the next match after this waiting on network error is done with. Okay, so still in the two hundreds though. Still in the two hundreds. We got a energy card, and let's face off against Jason with the epic John Cena picture. So, Jason, you ready to get taken down? I think we faced off against Jason 2 in this same episode. Let's see. What's it going to be first? Tag Team, Toughness, and Charisma. Rock and Seth Rollins. All right. So, he's using his John Cena card right. All right. I think he's going to take this one. Oh, no. We take it. Cool. Power. We're going to go with the boost or support card, I should say. Oh, damn. I think it's going to be a... Oh, yeah, to draw. Tag Damn, why does it have to be a tag team match? Ah, uh, that's not good. Um, I don't think we get this one. If I had a slightly stronger card... Oh, wait. Wow, okay. We got this one. Wow. So, okay. <laughs> Triple H and Murphy actually won. I thought for sure we were going to lose that. All right. So, we get... I'm in the 300s now, though. We get Rosa and a charisma card. And let's face off. Nah, we're not going to face off against Tom. Too many wins. Too many limes. Let's face off against Magnus with the uh, Cesaro picture. Come on. Let's do it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, why does, like, Cesaro's got, like, this Magneto pose. In his card or on his in the picture, tag team divas. Let's go with the divas, and we lose this one. He's got a Roman Reigns support card. Come on, I know I lose this one. Let's go. Let's move on to the superstars. Kind of glad though we we got rid of the you know divas cards right now, so now we can focus on the superstar cards. And now this one speed definitely going with Seth Rollins. We're gonna get this one. Now, this next one, okay, so it's a soul match. That's better than a tag team match because I would have had to team up The Rock and Triple H. They wouldn't have gotten a boost. Instead, they would have they would have gotten a decrease. So, good. We get the win once again. So, on my return in the PCC, you know, not doing too bad. Uh, losing more matches than I'd like to. But I've also got a pretty crappy deck right now. <laughs> so... You know, it's, it, it's cool. Uh, I think we're, we're going to get Kevin Owens, I think. If not, you know, I think I should get maybe Dolph Ziggler or... Because, uh, well, Ryback's going to win, so I, I would get, like, Rusev if I don't get uh, Ryback. Which, if I do get Rusev, I'm going to be happy with that. I like Rusev. Actually, hold on a second. Um, uh, Triple H is an upwards yellow triangle. And I think, yeah, Kevin Owens and, yeah, both Kevin Owens and Ryback are downwards yellow triangles. So I can team them up with, I can team up Triple H with Ryback, and I can team them up with Rusev, so it all works out. You know, they're actually going to be a good fit in the deck. As far as Saffron's goes, he's not going to be that great to team, I won't get, I'm not going to team him up with those cards, because we're going to get a decrease. But, it's cool to see that I can team them up with Triple H. Soul match, power... We're gonna go with Triple H. No, I don't. I'm not. I don't think we need the power uh, support card. Yeah, we don't need it. We got this one. And then solo match speed. Seth Rollins. We get this one too. There we go. And a Divas tag team match. There we go. Oh, and by the way, I think I saw that Rusev and Dolph Ziggler are gonna be facing off at Madison Square Garden too. I mean, come on, end the damn feud already. Shit, man. It, the feud's been going on for way too long. I hope they don't drag it out until Lana comes back. Because I think Lana's out for a while too. So if they drag it out till then, that's going to be so damn boring. Okay. And yo, for, for I hope the Madison Square Garden match is the last match. 
and please have Rusev win. He's lost so many matches already. Have the guy win already. The guy who loses one match to John Cena. Well, actually, he lost a bunch of matches to John Cena. But he's undefeated for like this entire year, then loses to John Cena, and then starts losing to everybody. Uh, anyways, so a match softens charisma. Triple H. We're going to beat Ryback right here. There we go. Divas match. Uh, let's go without any boosts. Alright, so we lose a Divas match. Hopefully the next match isn't a Divas match. Okay, good. It's a speed match. We should take this one. And we do. Against Ted DiBiase. Everybody's got a price. Once again, a win for Deagle. So, moving on. What are we going to get? Still in the 300s. Uh, you know, I thought we are going Another Murphy card. And a Miz card. Okay. Let's go ahead and play a match. Hey, hold on a second. Jake, yo. Is it... J is this the same Jake that, you know... I played against in the Subscribers King of the Ring? You know what? Just in case, if it is you... I'm gonna go ahead and face off against you right now. Even though you're, you're a 1 plus match. I think this is you. It might not be you. Because I think, you know, there's, you can be, there's multiple people with the same names. But, yeah, let's just face off against Jake. And let me know in the comments section if this is you or not. Uh, the guy's got 200-something matches played and is only a 1+, plus, so I'm not sure if he is the same Jake that's been in the most subscribers King of the Rings. Uh, so it might be him, might not be him. Let us know in the comments section if it is you. Tag Team Speed, we're going to go with The Rock and Seth Rollins, and we're going to take this one. Okay, there we go. And then what's it going to be? Divas Speed, uh, hold on a second. Okay, we take this one. Good. There we go. We beat Jake. Not sure if it's the same Jake, though, but once again, let me know in the comments if it is you. And one, two, three. We get the win again. Now, let's see. I'm not going to be... No, I'm not going to be in the 200s. This was just a 1 plus match. We're still going to be in the 300s. Actually, we're in the 340, 347. I think that that's worse than what I was before. So, now we're going to go to the 5 plus matches. Once again, Trevor, we come for you. Now, hopefully we get this one. Hopefully we get this one. Video is approaching an hour. It is approaching an hour. This is going to be... History is being made right now. So, hey, guys. If you like these long supercar videos, if you want to see these daily uploads, go ahead and click that like button. Show me that you like these videos and want to see more of it. Ah, shit. It's a Divas... I thought it was a singles Divas match. It's a Divas tag team match. Oh, we still get this one, though. Oddly enough, he's, like... Not too many people have worse Divas cards than I do in Season 2, but hey, this guy does. Soul Match, Toughness, Triple H, of course, and we're facing off against Neville. There we go. Beat him. Tag Team Power, doesn't matter what we go with here. And just for, for the hell of it, I'm going to go with these two. Because it doesn't matter what happens here, we won the match already. Macho Man, Randy Savage, and The Miz. Take this one. Okay. Let's go. Moving on, please. Come on. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see. We got Kalisto and we've got Emma. Let's play another match against Alex. And give me a damn title match, man. We haven't gotten a title match in a while. Need a title match. And let's go. By the way, a bunch of people have asked me when the last episode of my career is going to be posted up. It is going to be posted up uh, before 2K16. Uh, I'm not giving you guys like an exact date because I don't want to do that and then not post it up on that date. I will tell you an exact date though once I do have the video recorded because then I could tell you an exact date because I could post it on that date. Uh, but I don't want to tell you guys something and then you know not deliver on it that day, you know. Uh, which I have done in the past, so I don't want to do it again. Uh, Tag Team Charisma. And the reason why I haven't posted up yet is because I do want to post up a video alongside it. 
Um, and I'm, so once I get done with that video, then I'm going to post up the My Career episode. Because I do want to post up, like I said, another video alongside the last My Career episode. Solid match, toughness, and charisma. Oh, look at that. It's Kane. And Triple H takes him out. Triple H was pissed off that Kane wouldn't admit that he was the one to take out Seth Rollins. Or that he, you know, took out Seth Rollins on Sunday. Alright, we're still in the 300s. Sheamus and... Yay, title match. I was just talking about a title match and we got a title match. Okay, let's face off against Ryan Young. I haven't seen this uh, rock picture yet. The rock picture that this guy's got. I think that's a super rare rock card. I'm not sure. Hold on a second. Looks like he's... Looks like... To be honest with you guys, it looks like he's on the toilet taking a big shit with that expression. He's got the veins popping out. Like, he's really forced. Anyways. So, match power. We're gonna go with Triple H and the support card. And we beat King Barrett. That's the first time also that I see an epic King Barrett card. Just shows you that I haven't been playing the game uh, enough. So, solo match speed, Seth Rollins, yeah, look at that rock card, he's like, yo, why are you looking at me on the toilet? Okay, uh, like, they f for season two, there's a lot of the, a lot of the cards, they've picked some really, like, bad pictures. Uh, one, two, and three. Okay. And even, like, like, for some of the legends, they've taken, like, pictures of them currently, and the legends have like some really some of them have some really high stats you're like okay it's kind of weird you know they've got like they've got their current picture it's like it's kind of weird cuz this current you know Bruno San Martino is kicking you know current Seth Rollins ass or whatever all right we're going to play one more match as Christian would say oh no no I'm not playing against this Cena guy let's see all right I'm going to play against John with the um Ultra Air Andre, I prefer that than playing against a guy with an Epic John Cena card. It's, you know, it's it, it's fair. It's on a, an even playing field. You know, I don't want to face off against a guy with a lot better cards. Okay. Tag team power. We're going to go with The Rock and Seth Rollins. And, oh, damn. He's got a really high power. Oh, and he gets a boost, too. That, that is not good. That is not good. Okay, so I'm hoping that he has some pretty bad cards for the rest of his cards. Okay, so we take this one. I just hope the next match isn't a Divas match. Ah, oh, it's a, come on. It's not a Divas match, but it's a tag team match. Okay, uh, let me go with the boost here. I mean, let's see. Um, I mean, they don't get a boost. We don't get a boost, but do I get this one? Yes, we got this one. Hold on a second. Woo! Another woo. All right. We won the match. And I think we can end it right here. The video's an hour right now. So we're good. For the very first time, I just posted up an hour video. So, hey, if you haven't liked a video of mine before, I like this one. Anyways, what time is it right now? Wow, it's okay. So it's 4.07 4 a.m. right now. And I'm still awake. I haven't slept yet. Um, I think that's gonna be it. Um, let's see the leaderboards. Who's number one? Just for, you know, just for fun. I probably don't know who the number one guy is. I don't, like, I, a lot of you guys know the t who the top players are. I don't know who the top players are. Um, so, oh man, it's the famous DT Breezy. I know that dude. Men saw him on TV once. Jolly Joker. I know that guy. Uh, Figaro. Oh man, that guy. That, that, he, he is one of the best players on Supercard. Dingo, man, I saw him on the street at this one time. He is seriously one of the best supercar players. He once had a deck of just commons and was able to beat a deck of full epic cards. Uh, Turkey, um, he likes Turkey. He's a really good player. Uh, Darren Wright, um, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about him. Yvonne, oh, this this dude, man, this dude is insane. Uh, season one of Supercard. He got all the PCC cards, all the Road to Glory cards. He, he got all the event cards there is, and he probed them all, maxed them all out. Byron, no, nah, I'm, I'm just I'm just spitting out a bunch of BS. I don't know anything about these guys. So, uh, that is it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, as always, you can click the like button down below. And uh, by the way, 
a bunch of you have asked me before what I use to record these videos or think I record via Bluestacks. I don't use Bluestacks. Um, I've tried Bluestacks before. I didn't really like it. I use a program called, and I, and I talked about this program in my very first episode of Supercard, and to this day, I still use the same program because I like it so much. It is like Cam for Android. I'll post a link in the description box if you guys want to check out the program. It isn't a free program. You've got to buy it. There is a free trial, though. Like, you, you can try it out, but it's got, I think, a watermark or whatever, uh, which is usually the case with, you know, free trials. Uh, but yeah. That's what I use to record, so hopefully that answers some of your questions. As far as the next subscribers, King of the Ring, I don't know. I'm thinking about making another poll and letting you guys decide when it's going to be. The last time I posted up a poll on Twitter, let you guys decide when you wanted the King of the Ring to be. It was a very close one between Tuesday and Friday. Um, and Friday ended up winning. So, I post it up. I think I'm going to do that. I actually let you guys, you know, pick the day. Because I do, you know, want to reach that 16 player, uh, or, you know, 16 of us in the same King of, the, King of the Ring lobby. And so, for me to do that, I do want to have the King of the Ring on a day where most of you are available. And at a time also that most of you are available. That's why when I made it on Friday, and a lot of people, you know, were saying they've got school and all that... I made it pretty late, so that way a lot of you would be out of school and back home and all that, so you could participate in the, uh, the King of the Ring. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. Post up a Twitter, Twitter pool, so go ahead, follow me on Twitter. Actually, I don't even think you need to follow me on Twitter to participate in the pool. You might need, actually, you might need to, because it's a Twitter pool. Uh, it's on twitpool.com or something like that. I'm not sure. But anyways, so check it out. It'll... Either we post it up today or tomorrow, and you guys will be able to vote on the day you want to uh, participate in the King of the Ring. I don't know why I just went on the chat, just felt like seeing what people are talking about. Yes, yes, me, yes. Any Seth fan, fuck Owens, he is... What? He is... Had paid... Oh, the fuck? This, this is retarded. Well, it's pretty clear what you need... What? What to do... Man, the, the, the thing is moving a bit too quick. Well, it's really clear what you need to do. Then Team WWE for picking right. Okay. The new IC champion. Well, X paper champion. Whoa, okay. Fuck you, USA. <laughs> you okay? I wonder where this guy's from. And he said it like multiple times. Calm down, dude. What, what's up with the USA, man, that you don't like? All right, smoke weed every day. Right back, paper champion. Uh, he's got the Kevin Owens card. Uh, do we have like CM Puke in this game? Is this like the the, the game's version of CM Puke? Uh, the guy that used to show up every time in the WWE comment section in, the, in their in their videos. Right, I already saw that. He is a cheater. Who's the cheater? I hate Owens. Okay, so this is this is the type of fan that really thinks this is real. You know, it's still real to them. Uh, Tristan, are you from North Korea? Uh, who's Tristan? I, I can't see Tristan. Oh, any girls whisper? Okay, so pe some people are actually using this as a dating service. Uh, okay, uh, this dude's probably gonna get catfished or trolled or something like that. Uh, whoever picked Ryback needs to kill themselves. Whoa, this guy really doesn't like Ryback. Uh, Cologne, I don't know what he said. You guys can translate that if you understand that. I am from Denmark. Cool. Someone from USA. Uh, man, Tristan, calm down, man. What's up? OMG, any girl... Man, this guy's really desperate, you know? He really wants girls to whisper him. Should I troll him? Like, oh, can I whisper this guy? Nah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna skip. I'm not I'm not gonna be the one to do it. So, somebody else is gonna do it. Somebody probably already whispered him. That's not actually a girl. Uh, Brock, better than Cena. I'm having fun looking at this. Hey, this is actually pretty fun. I wouldn't participate in this. Uh, cause it's just random. You, you see the... It's just random crap. I mean... AJ Lee, AJ Lee, one above is gay, okay, <laughs> and I did slap his booty, alright, enough of this, enough of this, we, we've seen too much retardedness in this chat, I don't think that's a word, uh, and pro people are probably going to call me retarded for saying that, because that's probably not a word, anyways, it's enough talking, and yeah, I'm out guys, see you tomorrow for another daily supercard video.